hello welcome to a new video now as you know i've been getting into my art a little more in the last couple of years and i cannot resist i cannot resist a bundle bargain from ebay and um, i even said to myself don't go on ebay and buy huge bundles of art supplies of clear outs because that's what i did with fabric and i ended up with a lot of things that I know I'll never use <laughs> um, so I'm I was trying to be more mindful uh, but then this little thing came up I couldn't help myself I had a look so I've got a little haul you probably know minimalism it, it's not really for me <laughs> yeah so this is what I've got let's just dive in this is the size box and this is what's in it so right on the top, we've got De La Rone gouache. So simply on the side. I'm guessing these are like their student range. I don't think these are like professional paints, but I haven't really used gouaches before. So I hope I'm saying that right. I, I sound so, I, I, I feel really self-conscious saying it because no one really knows quite how to say it, do they? Anyway. I really really wanted to give these types of paints a try because if you watched my watercolours that I did autumn last year you'll know I was using them in quite a creamy consistency before blending it with water and um, yeah so I, I think I would get on with that but I'm not sure about acrylics. I've got a feeling gouache might be the medium that I end up sticking with but it's just a feeling because I haven't used any since well the poster paints that I had as a child are probably the ones that are nearest to these I need to um, try these again and these also came with another set so I think these are just six a set of six and a set of 24 I guess these are the primary colors and then we've got a set of um, acrylic also De La Roni Simply so again, I guess that's the student range or maybe even more basic than that. I'll have to do a little bit of research. And then, wow, I, I mean, the pictures weren't very clear, so I was not entirely sure what I was getting. Right, let's sort some of this out. There we are. Right, of all the things to leak, it's the block printing ink. Oh, it's oh, it's gone on this. Oh no. I thought it was quite contained. Oh, that's not too bad. That could have been a lot worse actually. I think it's just gone on this pen. Uh, we shall see as I go through it. I didn't notice it anywhere else. Okay. Okay, this is quite this this is quite different stuff. So that's one thing that's good about this is that this is very very few things that I've got already so yeah there's a lot of different things here acrylics I do have some acrylics but not many and the, obviously whoever owned this was into the yellows because we've got two lots of golden sun vanilla bean and cadmium yellow in the big one here and yellow ochre in the big one here lush pink I won't go over all the colors but a couple of pearl lilacs which will be interesting to try so yeah we've got a couple of packs of oh that's just a set of value paint brushes oh these are for glass painting aqua glass brush set used with aqua glass paints and acrylics okay interesting well we do have one little pot of glass paint. So this is what I mean about getting these bundles. I don't really do glass painting. I wonder when I next see my cousin, she might find that useful. Oh, this is new. Pencil eraser, sharpened for fine point erasing. So that's a tiny, tiny little rubber on the end there. And a brush to brush away the bits. Oh, haven't tried that before. And we've got a set of erasers here, art needable ones. That's good. I've got one or two, but I think that's the sort of thing that will always be useful. We've got a liquid chalkboard pen. Well, we have a chalk, one of those slate heart signs in the kitchen. We might use that with that. 
relief outliner used with water-based glass paint oh, okay so this is for glass painting as well right i'll put this to one side sue if you're watching my cousin sue <laughs> let me know if you want these <laughs> and then there's this little collection of silk paints and silk painting is something was a hobby i did as a child there was a craft fair near us a few years we went there and uh, and i'd buy a new silk paint each time i went because they're a bit pricey so one a year is all i could could have i might revive that hobby i still have it of course in fact the shoe box is just here next to me from when I was doing my craft stash clear out and I wasn't sure what to do with that lot. It's the sort of thing that uh, I could make a big silk dress, couldn't I? And do this big wild painting on, on a big dress. That'd be so much fun. So I might keep those and have a play um, later in the year. We've got a glitter kiss. I think that most of these things are brand new I think yeah this is brand new and I've got these not this color so that's good but I did buy some of these from a craft shop that was closing down and they are very very pretty so yeah that will get used in my mixed media projects so what's this art studio brush okay a random pen I'll probably still use that so let's try this blue one which is from Art Studio, not, uh, I mean it sounds like a very generic sort of brand. Oh that's really pretty. That's a really lovely pale blue colour, feels very nice, I mean there's not a lot to say about that really. We've got a paint marker, paints on anything in white, that's going to be really good. And I wanted to try these paint markers, there's also two other Posca paint markers. What colours are these? Oh these are both black but both of these will be good for when I want to write on top of my mixed media art. Yeah looking forward to trying those. Let's open this one up. This is the Uni Paint marker. Marks on anything. It says oil based opaque. So let's give this a try. Wow very tightly shrink wrapped. Not quite sure how I'm going to get in. didn't expect that. Yay! Oh, look at that. Gosh, those dots look so much better than my splatters that I did with the white acrylic paint. There! Ah, I can understand why people use these. Well, it dries beautifully matte. I don't know if you saw that, but it literally went from shiny fresh paint to matte almost instantly. Right, I'm next going to open the Posca. I see people using Posca a lot. Paint in a pen. It can be used on most surfaces. This is water-based. This is oil. This is water-based. Oh, I'm breaking my nail. Okay. All right, a quick comparison between these two. You don't get that with the water-based Posca, Uni Posca, you don't get that that, is it an alcohol smell? I'm not sure, but that sort of chemically smell. It's quite strong with the white. The black has also dried to a lovely matte. Both very useful. I've got two bottles of Winter and Newton ink, both in scarlet. And I've got a big bundle that was given to me actually of old inks there are very old. I'll have to see whether they're dried up, which are also the Winsor and Newton inks. So again, I'm going to be experimenting with all different media in my art. So looking forward to having a go with those actually. Oh, another acrylic paint in brown. Brown is always so useful. Burnt Sienna. <sighs> it takes me forever to mix the right shade of brown. We've got a pack of Willow Charcoals, which I am so pleased about because I was going to go and buy some. I've got two tiny stumps, again, saved from when I was at school. And that's all I've got left of my charcoal, so that is good. I'm glad about that. Oh, we've got two lots. That's good. We've got this set of embossing powder. I think uh, they're all silver, apart from this one, which is holographic. I love heat embossing. That's not something I have... Have I shown you much on this channel? I know I did some Christmas cards with heat embossing one year. I love it, it's just like magic. Um, so I'm quite happy to have some more of these. 
and these are i mean these are new i think all apart from no, these are all new and these retail at um like four pounds maybe even five pounds each this whole set cost me 20 pounds plus 10 pounds postage that so there is value to be had in buying these bundles you know for sure i've got a faber castell graphite set sketch set and a derwent sketching set i've got a pack of two glitter brush markers excited to try those always like a bit of glitter so are these both the same glitter brush markers and this is from art sensations again not one i've heard of it says push at the size there yes that, oh 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 wow look at, you, look at that oh how sparkly i've never seen anything so sparkly in my life oh my goodness paint dripped down when i squeezed it but it's not continuing do you have to sort of squeeze it gently and right at the same time <sighs> i can only get this to drop can you is that coming out on camera how sparkly and shiny that is but i am struggling to get this to flow it's uh, it's the flow isn't continuous i think this is only going to be good for dropping blobs of silver well i would say very very pretty silver but not much use in terms of using it as a pen it will be pretty to add blobs of silver to, to, to some mixed media art i can't see it working any other way i won't open the other one I, I think they are both the same so yeah i'll definitely use that in my mixed media project not a pen to write with a paper mania clear stamp cleaner that's good i mean i usually just use a baby wipe and i keep them to hand when i'm doing stamping but there's always one or two that get missed so definitely useful for that okay i think that's everything We've got a random crown tester for milk white, but that, you know, things like that always can be used in mixed media painting. So that's great. And then, yeah, this, which I've put to one side because it's leaking, premium water-based block printing ink. So yeah, that's my little art haul, I'll be honest. Really, I just wanted the gouache paints and the rest as a huge bonus. Exciting. <laughs> Oh, and I've just spotted two other things. We've got two silver paint markers as well. So this is another oil-based opaque one. Oh, I wish they gave you some sort of helpful tab that you could uh, pull to get the plastic wrapping off. And I don't suppose there's any non-plastic alternative to this, is there? It seems such a shame for every single pen to be wrapped in plastic. Does anyone else think of Twin Peaks when they say wrapped in plastic? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's really nice. I used to love silver pens. When I was um, a kid that at the uh, newsagent up the road, they sold a couple of silver pens I remember buying and this is so much better. So again, you've got that. This, this smell actually is really bringing back memories. That has not changed since I was, I don't know, eight or nine years old when I was buying these from the shop up the road. Oh, that is nice. I bet that works really well on black. Yeah, it does. Look at that. Definitely considering using these in my art a bit more often. Yeah, so there we are. Little first impressions review on a couple of new things I've not tried before hope that's useful if you're thinking of having a go with this sort of thing that i think that is it hello this is editing me from the future um, i didn't film an ending because i thought that that was going to be part of a longer video but i thought actually this is getting quite long as it is let's just keep it as a good old art supply haul and uh, so there we are i hope you enjoyed watching if you did please give the video a thumbs up please share the link with your friends and i will see you again soon take care bye